you float gently in this ocean of harmony. You remember the happiness of being here before this. Now there is greater joy. You are not alone. You are filled with the warmth of friendship. You share your hopes, your dreams, all the best moments of your life, knowing that here is someone who understands and cares about you. You reach out to touch your friend, but there is no one there. You are all alone. You gradually wake, shaking off the shreds of dreams that cling to your memory. Look, he is safely locked away. We should wait a bit to see if the gravedigger shows up. Well, there you go. Igor's missing. That ties it. The little weasel never goes anywhere for crying out loud. Yeah, except when he's with that wacko, crazy, cuckoo doctor. Why else would that gypsy be so darn close to town? He got a taste for meat. It was a full moon outside last night, I'm telling ya. Yeah, somebody's going to jail. Justice must be served, even for that little gravedigger. Justice? We don't even know if a crime has really been committed. Just relax, go home or to the inn. The gypsy goes nowhere. We can decide what to do later. But we... Later, go home. You say, hello, to the group. Ah, the stranger. Have you heard that Igor was killed and we... Will you stop saying that? We only know that Igor is missing. But we already have Igor's murderer. We have a gypsy, that is all. But you know that all gypsies are werewolves. I do not know that, and neither do any of you. If you would stop listening to old wives' tales and start thinking, you'd realize only that the gravedigger is missing and all else is in your imaginations. You ask if you can help in the investigation. After all, you are a bona fide hero. We already have the murderer. <laughs> we ourselves have solved this. We are the heroes here. Look, if you can prove one way or another what happened to Igor, I would be glad of it. I do not like blaming someone for a crime that may not even have been committed. Hold it, Slick. Don't you know what a werewolf is? A man who turns into a wolf! Yeah, when he's sunbathing at night, you know? It's the full moon that does it! Listen, the werewolf eats children, which don't make him all bad. Igor was not a child. Hey, Yuri's daughter was eaten by one, huh? No one knows what happened to Tanya. You cannot say she was eaten. What else could have happened? I mean, we have the werewolf that did... It'll break out of your little trick-or-treat jail and eat us all. Hans, not one word about Tanya eaten by a werewolf will you make to Yuri. He and Bella have been hurt too deeply. As you are a man, do not open the wounds again. Well, I'll tell you what, you suit yourself, pal. But at least they can be avenged now upon the werewolf! The grave digger's missing! I mean, we looked everywhere. He's usually under my wife's bed. We even tried to talk to that quack Dr. Cranium. That ridiculous doorbell! At first, we thought he might be lost. Then we found the gypsy. The gypsy did it. He toasted Igor. Yeah, and then he ate him. Check his breath. It smells like Igor. Poor Igor. I'm telling you, gypsies are werewolves. Yeah, 
Gypsies are all tramps and thieves! Gypsies cannot be trusted. I think we're fixing to have one less gypsy around here. A gypsy was found right outside the town gates. We brought him here for questioning. Why don't you have a bake sale, pal, and send away for a clue? Everyone knows that gypsies are werewolves! Yeah, little Igor was somebody's Big Mac, and you want us to just go home? That werewolf is a danger to us all. Think of our families. And our mistresses. Do you think I would endanger the town by allowing him to escape? The gypsy is securely locked up. He will not get away. Werewolves are mere peasant tales. You wanna see a peasant tale, pal? Look, we all know that werewolves are real. Yeah, I saw the movie. They turn into wolves by the full moon. They are harmed only by silver in wolf form. They're allergic to wolf's bane. There's a poem about it, okay? Even a man who's pure in heart. And says his prayers by night. Enough! Enough! It is all hearsay and speculation. May become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms. Oh, that's beautiful. And the autumn moon is bright. Or so the charming legend says. I am trying to do the job to which I was appointed. I am trying to make certain that justice... Justice? Justice Schmustice, Einstein? Was it justice that little Igor was murdered and wound up the blue plate special? Yeah, the murderer was caught, and I want to hit him. Let the punishment begin! Right, then we'll have justice. Am I the Burgomaster or am I not? I have said all that there is to be said about this subject. The gravedigger was missing last night. And we matriculated on down to the cemetery to search, see? Yeah, but we didn't have far to go. Just outside town, we caught ourselves a werewolf. Yeah, but we found no trace of poor old Igor. Enough! Igor is missing. We do not know what happened to him. It is none of your... Perfect! The gravedigger Igor's been killed! And we captured a werewolf! Listen, I'm telling you, Igor's death must be avenged. Go home. Just go home, all of you. You do not know the truth yet. <laughs> We're gonna make the little gypsy tell the truth, don't you worry. Yeah, let's see how much lying he does after we take his teeth out by hand. Dimitri, dude, listen, we... No, you listen, all of you. There is nothing to be done until we know all the facts. Now go home and let me do my job, please. The grave digger is missing, and the gypsy just happened to be near the front gate when we were searching for Igor. He is suspected of being a werewolf and of having eaten Igor. Come to look at the prisoner, or just to talk some more? You can talk to the gypsy yourself. He hasn't said much to anyone. Sometimes I think Mordavia is cursed. We live with so much real and present danger that we start to imagine things and overreact. Just because some folks find a gypsy when Igor is missing, they blame the gypsy. Now everyone in town thinks the gypsy is a raving werewolf out to eat us all. They act like frightened fools. 
I'm not certain what to do. I don't think that the gypsy had anything to do with Igor, but unless there is some real proof, the gypsy will burn. I can't leave the gypsy here by himself, yet someone needs to find out about Igor. Everyone else in town just assumes the gypsy is guilty. Igor is missing, and the townspeople seem sure that this gypsy is the cause. I am not so sure myself, but there's very little I can do until Igor is found. In such a small village, only one jail cell is needed. The gypsy ignores you. You tell the gypsy that you will do whatever you can to help prove his innocence and see his release. The gypsy doesn't seem to believe you. Well then, go do something instead of standing around talking with everyone. The gypsy looks at you with disdain. The gypsy spits in your general direction. The gypsy glares at you in sullen silence. If you really are a hero, why don't you do something about this situation? Why don't you... why... oh, never mind, just go! It is possible that the Gravedigger is still alive. If you are going wandering outside of town, please watch for him. Calm down, everyone. Give me a little more time. Yeah, well, that's all well and good, Gandhi, but we have waited long enough. Yeah, he's right. I got first dibs. That gypsy's gonna pay. That gypsy's gonna make Joan of Arc look like a piker. He's gonna burn at the stake. Yes, yes! If I cannot find out what happened to Igor before tomorrow, you shall have your burning. You have entered an eerie, deserted graveyard. Strange moans wail through the trees, and mysterious lights seem to flicker and fade among the tombstones. Two large crypts dominate the cemetery. You hear a monstrous groaning noise from beneath the fallen tombstone. Perhaps a horrible monster waits below. The gnarly old trunk of this tree looks climbable for one skilled in such pursuits. This headstone does not have an epitaph, yet. How about that old one? Death is just nature's way of telling you to slow down. Two spare coffins await their customers here. Apparently Igor has finally managed to get ahead of business. This gravestone is marked, No effort could Elissa save. She passed into a watery grave. Her body was lost, only her memory remains. Here lies Janos, faithful forever to his lost true love, laid beside her empty grave. An inscription on the door says, House of Lygia Poe, may she rest forever. The inscription on this headstone reads, Michael Med bumped his head in another man's bed. Now he's dead. Rest in peace. This headstone reads, On a dare, Pasha Sperry spent the night in the cemetery. Something gave him such a fright that now he sleeps here every night. Arkin Tenor walked at night. Arkin saw his final sight. Now the question seems to be, what in the world did Tenna see? Here lies the body of Carrie Nation, who answered a vampire's invitation. 
Now this cause for lamentation, it was a fatal recreation. Here lies the spirit of Barney Blue. To his lover was untrue. So she knew just what to do. Fixed herself some Barney stew. A heavy stone door seals off the Borgov family crypt. A relief carving on the door shows the crest of the House of Borgov. The headstone has fallen over the open grave, covering it. You say hello to the whatever it is in the no longer open grave. You hear a muffled, indistinguishable moan from the grave. You shout into the no longer empty grave. You hear a muffled, indistinguishable moan from the grave. Igor saved, kind stranger saved, Igor, good kind stranger, Igor happy grave, not Igor's grave. <laughs> The gypsy is gone. Welcome back. I suppose you've heard all the latest news by now. The gypsy is no longer my prisoner. Good riddance. I would not have enjoyed burning him at the stake. I'm just glad this whole thing is over. I hope this is the last of people disappearing mysteriously around here. The townspeople are foolish sometimes. They want easy answers instead of difficult solutions. Farewell, and thank you for helping, Igor. I did not believe the gypsy was guilty, and I did not want to burn him at the stake. Igor, very glad not to still be in grave. You Igor's friend now, huh? Good to see you! You tell Igor how you figured out he was stuck in the grave. Lucky for Igor, you persistent hero! You tell Igor the townspeople were worried while he was gone. People miss Igor? You tell Igor rumor? Igor now morgue happy than ever. <laughs> morgue happy, get it? <laughs> Little graveyard humor there. <laughs> oh, reports of Igor's demise greatly exaggerated. Her uh, Igor not give crypt key to strangers. You not stranger. Igor give crypt key to you. Grave accident. <laughs> <laughs> Little graveyard humor there. <laughs> that good one. I like it. Igor carve headstone near grave. Igor fall in grave. Gravestone fall on grave. Igor not get out until you get him out of grave. Igor in grave danger. <laughs> Little graveyard humor there. Staff been in town long time. Dimitri's grandfather brought staff to town. <gasps> People say Dr. Mad. Doctor not mad, doctor just crazy! 
people. People not like gypsies. People think gypsies steal things. People think gypsies eat people. People think gypsies not normal like Igor. You say goodbye to Igor. Igor nods cryptically. <laughs> A little graveyard humor there. <laughs>